It's been 609 days since our first hello, 590 since our first date, and 556 days since the first I love you. Every day throughout the, the last 20 months has been special, but today is my favorite because today is the day that I become your wife. Today is a day I've thought about for a long time. The very first time I attended a wedding as a kid, through high school, through college, into adulthood. I attended each wedding and I always thought, I wonder who I will marry. I had an idea of what my perfect bride would be like. Was it an idea or perhaps better stated, a dream of what she would be? More than anything, Katie hated being set up. She was like, just because two people are single doesn't mean that they should date. Well, joke's on her because she had a very dear friend say, I think I have a guy for you. Katie, for six months, said no. But as you learned today, in the middle of a pandemic, Katie finally said yes, joke's on her, now you're married to him. I've always believed that God's plan and timing are perfect, but I used to grow frustrated with the weight and uncertainty. And then I met you and it all made sense. He was preparing me for you, Michael. I never had a long list of criteria for my future husband, but I had a small handful of qualities, which I was not willing to sacrifice. First and foremost, my husband has to love the Lord. He needs to be a good conversationalist and be able to hold his own in social settings. He has to have a great sense of humor. He needs to support me and not be intimidated by my drive and ambition. Michael, you're everything I wanted. And more importantly, you're everything I didn't know I needed. In my dreams, I never imagined meeting a woman that exceeded all my expectations of love and companionship. Someone who is as kind as she is beautiful. Someone who cheers me on to be the best version of myself. Well, it's hard to know where to begin on a day such as this. Katie and Michael, your closest Family and friends are all gathered to witness before God your love and the promises that you will soon make to one another. I don't know where we'll be a year or five years or 50 years from now, but I know that we'll be together and that's all that matters. I've never been more confident about something than I am about spending the rest of my life with you. You are something that isn't supposed to be real. You're a dream come true, my true love. Now at this time, I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Michael and Katie Howe. I don't want to put any pressure on you, Michael, but you are marrying one of the most precious human beings on the face of the earth. <laughs> Michael, you're one of the best people I know. You're honest, you're hardworking, and you always put your friends and family first. You found someone who also loves your family and friends and couldn't be a warmer person to be around. Katie has never been so herself around someone, and that's how we know that you were the one. Katie, you have a fun, loving spirit. You're sincere, patient, and calm. Michael recognizes your traits and talents that make you as special as a couple. I pulled off dating during a pandemic. I'm really looking forward to marriage post-pandemic, so. Happy New Year, everybody, to the end of the year, and a lifelong happiness to be getting married.